Hey, what is up guys? DRC3 here, back with another My Hero Ultra Impact video. And today we are going to be talking about the new Gear Shop refresh and update. So for those of you who don't know, the Gear Shop resets on the first of the month every month, technically at the end of the month every month for anyone living in the United States, Canada, or that area, but the first of the month for anyone in Japan. And with this new Gear Shop refresh, we got an update, like for the first time, in the game, they are doing like a special type of shop for September. I don't know if they're gonna do this every month from now on, but it is very nice because it shakes up the shop a little bit and it makes it more worth the money you're gonna spend. So right now in the coin shop, they've added in obviously new items for the new ability boards on the characters that you are trying to get their ability boards up on and stuff like that so that's really helpful and then of course you still have the normal advanced leveling items and all the extra items that you would normally have so it's looking very very nice for the coin shop right now so make sure you are refreshing buying the coin shop out the way i would do it typically is i would just select all buy all and buy out all the coin shop all the way up to 4,000. So just keep refreshing. But as you can see, those special items don't come back around after you bought them the first time. So just keep that in mind. But typically when you buy stuff in the coin shop, you wanna do it only for 2,000. You don't wanna spend too much money refreshing because that's a waste of coins. And then when you hit 4,000, it'll change here in a second. Stop refreshing and you're good. You can do this about three times a day depending on when you log on and do the resets and stuff like that. So lots of ways to get free items. Make sure you're getting those free items for your ability boards. Every little bit counts and every little bit will help you. Another big addition to the gear shop is they have added a wallpaper. They have finally, finally made memories, like exchanging memories, kind of worth it. Like we did have the Limit Breaker SRs and stuff like that, which are okay but they have added a wallpaper, the beachfront day, into the memory shop. So if you exchange enough SR memories or rare memories, stuff like that, you can get up to 500 memory points and buy this wallpaper. I'm pretty sure they're gonna be doing a mission as well that will give you memory points, so we'll have that coming too. So you shouldn't have to worry too much about getting these points. You should be able to get this before the wallpaper goes away, but that is a nice addition. The next thing I wanna mention is the UA High Shop. With the UA High Shop, they have added in these pieces for Kirishima and Asui. These are fairly decent. You get five for a thousand. Um, it's better than the one that you get below for like 200. So it's kind of worth buying. And I'm going to buy it. I'll buy them right now. I don't really need the blue Kirishima because I have them level 100, but you can always use the extra shards or pieces to do their EX skills. So keep that in mind as well. You don't have to always use the hero memory thing. You can actually use pieces to do the EX skills if you didn't know that. All right, and then the VE Tower Shop, nothing new has really happened here. It's basically the same. It is all refreshed though. So if you've already bought your Limit Breaker last month or your Silver Ticket last month, you can go and buy those again. Star Shop, nothing's really changed, same thing. You got, of course, all the characters here, nothing really to go over there. And then Arena though, you're gonna wanna buy up all the stuff you can in Arena. Lots of silver tickets to be gotten from Arena, especially with the refresh, buy the advanced leveling, buy your stars. The stars are probably like one of the most valuable things to free to play players, especially in the Arena shop. So I just wanted to go over the gear shop, let you guys know, basically it has refreshed. There are some interesting updates to the coins and memories and UA high portion. I don't know if they're gonna do anything with the VE tower or Arena portion here in the future, but it, I am liking the changes they're making. I think it's interesting. What do you guys think of the coin changes? What do you think of the memory changes? What do you think of them putting a wallpaper in the memory category? Do you like this? Do you hate this? Do you feel like you're not gonna be able to get the memory points needed because you don't summon enough? Or just let me know what you guys are thinking down in the comments. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please go down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and thank you guys for watching. Peace.